Thank you for choosing the MyQ Smart Garage Control. This video will take you through various troubleshooting tips and techniques to help you successfully connect your MyQ Smart Garage Control to a compatible garage door opener. If you have reviewed all troubleshooting techniques and still find you are having problems connecting the hub to your garage door opener, please refer to your manual for further instructions or visit myq.com support. If your MyQ hub is plugged in and none of the indicator lights are on, it's most likely the power source. Here are some quick and easy solutions that can help. Solution number one. Does the outlet work? A simple way to test the outlet is to plug in a lamp or other corded device into the outlet. If there is no power, check the circuit breaker. Solution number two. Do you need to replace your MyQ hub? If the outlet has power and the hub light still won't come on, you will need to replace your MyQ hub. To do this, visit myq.com support. Click contact us and send us an email describing your issue. We will ship you a replacement hub. Once you receive it, simply follow instructions for setup. Your MyQ hub should now be powered up. The flashing blue indicator light means the hub is not connected, but is now ready for setup. If you are having trouble connecting your MyQ hub to the MyQ app, we'll walk you through some quick and easy solutions that can help. The MyQ app is a free download for Apple and Android smartphones from the App Store and at Google Play. To connect, Bluetooth must be enabled on your smartphone and in the MyQ app in your phone settings. If Bluetooth is not enabled, Apple users will be prompted to allow new connections. Android users will be prompted to turn on Bluetooth. When your phone is connected to the MyQ hub using Bluetooth, you'll see a solid blue light on your hub. This means it is ready to connect to your home network. If you are unable to go any further with the setup in the app, follow these four troubleshooting solutions to solve the issue. Solution number one. Do you need to reset your MyQ hub? If Bluetooth is enabled on your smartphone and the connection fails, the app will detect that something's not right. It will walk you through resetting the hub to the factory default settings. To reset your MyQ hub, press and hold the settings button until the blue light begins to blink. The hub might beep. Press and hold the settings button a second time until the hub beeps and the blue light begins to blink. Unplug the hub and plug it back in. Then start the app setup over again. Solution number two. Do you need to reset the Bluetooth on your phone? To reset, go to your phone's Bluetooth settings and forget your MyQ device. Turn Bluetooth off and on to refresh the Bluetooth on your device. Now, when you attempt to connect, your hub should be discovered. Solution number three. Do you need to change the settings on your phone? If you are seeing the blue light on your MyQ hub go from blinking to solid and then back to blinking, your phone may be set up automatically to switch to the last available internet connection, which will break the connection to the hub. To correct this, turn off Wi-Fi Assist, Auto Network Switch, or Mobile Assist feature in your phone settings. Then, start the app setup over again. You can also turn this setting back on once you've finished setting up your MyQ. Solution number four. Are you getting a strong enough Wi-Fi connection? Try turning off all other Wi-Fi devices in your home to eliminate everything but your MyQ hub, smartphone, and home router. You can also temporarily plug the hub in the same room that your network router is located. Once you finish setting up your MyQ, you can turn on your other devices. Your MyQ hub should now be connected to your MyQ app. If these solutions have not solved your MyQ app connection issue, you may also need to change the settings on your router's admin page. If you are having trouble connecting your MyQ smart garage control to the internet, or getting it to stay connected, we'll walk you through some quick and easy solutions that can help. First, make sure you have the latest version of the MyQ app installed on your mobile device. Have your Wi-Fi router manual handy for the following steps. When connecting your MyQ hub to your home internet, the lights on the hub will change three times. Once you enter your Wi-Fi password on the MyQ app, 
The solid blue light on your MyQ Hub will change to a blinking blue and green light while the Hub attempts to connect. If the password you entered is correct and your Hub successfully connects to the router, you'll see a blinking green light. Once the Hub connects to the MyQ server, the lights will change to solid green. This should all happen pretty quickly. If this does not happen, follow these four troubleshooting solutions to solve the issue. Solution number one. Did you enter the wrong Wi-Fi password? If the light on your MyQ hub stays solid blue and never changes to blink in blue and green, you'll need to confirm your Wi-Fi router password and re-enter it in the MyQ app. Solution number two. Did you have a weak Wi-Fi signal because your router may be too far from your MyQ hub? If so, try moving the location of your router closer to the garage. If that's not possible, temporarily bring the hub closer to the router and see if you can make a successful connection between the two devices. If that works, you will need to purchase a Wi-Fi range extender so that your signal is able to reach the hub when it's installed in the garage. For best results, make sure the extender is located halfway between the hub and the router. Solution number three. Is your Wi-Fi router broadcasting at 2.4 GHz? If not, you'll need to make sure your router has that setting available and is turned on. This can be done on your router's admin page. Consult your Wi-Fi router manual for access and settings information. Solution number four. Is your Wi-Fi router configured correctly? If the light on your MyQ hub continues to blink blue and green, and never changes to blinking green, it's probably your router setup. This can also be changed on your router's admin page. Look in your Wi-Fi router manual for access and settings information. Possible issues may include Your router has MAC address filtering turned on. If so, turn it off. Another issue may be that your Wi-Fi security options are not set to either WPA, WPA2, or WPA3. Your MyQ Hub is also not compatible with WPA Enterprise. If the light on your MyQ Hub is still blinking green instead of solid green, it may mean that port 8883 is blocked or blocked in your firewall software. To fix this, look in your Wi-Fi router manual for admin page access and settings information. If you're having trouble connecting your MyQ Hub to your garage door opener, We'll walk you through some quick and easy solutions that can help. If you have successfully paired your garage door sensor to your MyQ hub but can't complete the setup of your garage door opener, your MyQ app will show that the hub was added to your MyQ account. This means that the app can detect the position of the garage door, but it can't open or close it. However, you will still be able to receive alerts in monitor door only mode. Completing the connection to your opener requires pairing a compatible garage door opener to your MyQ Hub. When this connection is successful, the app will prompt you to name your garage door opener and it will appear as a device on your MyQ account and as an icon in the MyQ app. If this does not happen, follow these four troubleshooting solutions to solve the issue. Solution number one. Do you have LED bulbs in your garage door opener? Some LED light bulbs can interfere with pairing the MyQ hub to your garage door opener. If you have LED light bulbs in your garage door opener, remove them temporarily. If this resolves the problem and your hub pairs successfully, then try replacing the LED bulbs with a different brand. Solution number two. Do you have a compatible garage door opener? If the MyQ app makes several unsuccessful attempts to pair with your garage door opener, you will see an error message on the app along with an icon showing monitor door only. For a list of compatible garage door openers, go to myq.com slash myq compatibility. If your garage door opener model is not listed, then replace it with a compatible model. Solution number three. What if your garage door opener is compatible, but your MyQ is still not opening and closing the garage door? Check your garage door opener manual for instructions on programming a remote. This will tell you how to put the garage door opener into learn mode. Change the location of your MyQ hub. Find a location in your garage either on the ceiling, side wall, or opposing wall to the garage door that is at least six feet above the ground and near an electrical outlet that you can plug into without an extension cord. Avoid placing the hub in a cabinet or within four feet of any metal objects. When your garage door is being closed using the MyQ app, the hub beeps and the LED light flashes to warn those in and around the garage. 
Therefore, the hub and its LED light must be visible at all times from within the garage. Solution number four. If the previous solutions do not work, you might need to clear existing door sensors from the MyQ hub. First, start by clearing channels one and two on the hub. While looking at the lights, press and release the button marked with one dot. You will see the yellow light turn on. Next, press and hold the button marked with one dot until the yellow light turns off. Now repeat these same steps for the button marked with two dots. To pair a door sensor in the app, select the plus sign, then device. Scroll down and select door sensor. Choose the hub you want to pair the sensor to. Next, the app will walk you through the rest of the setup. Your MyQ hub should now be connected to your garage door opener. If you're having trouble connecting your MyQ hub to your door sensor, we'll walk you through some quick and easy solutions that can help. When you press the test button on the sensor, you should see a red light flash. This indicates that your door sensor is working. Pressing the test button a second time will pair the sensor to your MyQ hub. When pressing the button a second time, the red light on the sensor will blink, the hub will beep, and the white light on the hub will flash. This confirms pairing was successful. If this does not happen, follow these two troubleshooting solutions to solve the issue. Solution number one. Is your device receiving power? Did you remove the battery tab? Remove the battery tab on the side of the door sensor. If the battery tab has already been removed, pry up the latch panel on the bottom of the door sensor with a coin or screwdriver and lift the top to remove it. Remove the battery and put it back in to make sure the connection is snug. Also be sure to remove any residual debris such as a broken off piece of the battery tab. Replace the cover and press the test button five more times, waiting five seconds between each press. If the red light does not show on all five times, you will need to replace the battery. The replacement is a CR2450 three volt coin cell battery. Solution number two. Do you need to clear the existing door sensors from the MyQ hub? If the red light on the door sensor flashes, but your MyQ hub does not beep and the white light does not flash, you may notice the app setup will not continue. If this happens, first, start by clearing channels one and two on the hub. While looking at the lights, press and release the button marked with one dot. You will see the yellow light turn on. Next, press and hold the button marked with one dot until the yellow light turns off. Now, repeat these same steps for the button marked with two dots. To pair a door sensor in the app, select the plus sign, then device. Scroll down and select door sensor. Choose the hub you want to pair the sensor to. Next, the app will walk you through the rest of the setup. Your MyQ hub should now be connected to the door sensor. If your MyQ hub was working fine, but it has become disconnected or loses connection from time to time, we'll walk you through some quick and easy solutions that can help. Follow these four troubleshooting solutions to solve the issue. Solution number one. Have you replaced your home internet router or have you changed your Wi-Fi password? Use your MyQ app to reconnect your hub to your router. Open the app and start by tapping the icon with your initials. Select device management, then select your hub. Select change Wi-Fi settings. The app will then walk you through updating your setup based on the color of lights on your MyQ hub. Also, be sure your new router is set to 2.4 gigahertz. This can be done on your router's admin page. Consult your Wi-Fi router manual for access and settings information. Solution number two. Have you moved your home internet router? If you have moved your modem or router to another location, you could be affecting the Wi-Fi signal in the garage where your MyQ hub is located. If your hub was connected when your router was in its original location, put it back. That's the easiest way to ensure you'll be able to get connected and stay connected. Solution number three. Have you added new Wi-Fi devices to your home? If you've added new Wi-Fi devices, they may also be causing interference. Try relocating the new devices so they are as far away from your MyQ hub as possible. Solution number four. Have you moved your MyQ hub? Your MyQ hub should be located in your garage, either on the ceiling, sidewall, or opposing wall to the garage door. 
make sure the hub is at least six feet above the ground. Near an electrical outlet that you can plug into without an extension cord. Avoid placing the hub in a cabinet or within four feet of any metal objects. When your garage door is being closed using the MyQ app, the hub beeps and the LED light flashes to warn those in and around the garage. Therefore, the hub and its LED light must be visible at all times from within the garage. Your MyQ Smart Garage Control should now be reconnected. For more information, be sure to look in your manual or visit myq.com support.